Traders and investors have to make decisions always and do that with lots of due diligence. But do you know about that one thing that causes many traders and investors to make poor decisions costing them money? It's something known as recency bias. And you should watch this video till the end if you want to learn about it. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is recency bias? Have you ever thought a team would win the match just because they have been winning their previous matches or that they would lose the next match just because they have had a losing streak? We often get caught up in this line of thought. There is a valid explanation for this and that's a recency bias. So recency bias is a psychological or cognitive bias due to which people tend to make decisions based on recent events. Do you know what this leads to? It leads to people frequently making emotional decisions based on recent or short-term events and they neglect the bigger picture. Hence, this bias stems from how humans would rely on short-term memory to make sense of real-time events and how easy it is for people to believe that recent events influence future outcomes. By the way, this concept of recency bias is well studied in behavioral finance. Financial market participants often fall for fallacies and quickly jump to conclusions. The bias affects traders and investors very much, making short-term decisions incompatible with their long-term goals. Example, the financial market runs on the emotions of the market participants and behavioral finance studies why people behave in a certain way. The study on the dot-com bubble of 2000 proved how people could forego rational thinking and speculate with a herd mentality. As you know, in those days, there was a lot of hype around internet companies and everyone just wanted to invest in these companies and become rich overnight. What did it lead to? The sector grew by almost 400% as people kept investing. Eventually, the bubble burst and people lost everything. Why did people act the way they did? Any idea? It's simple. The recency bias kicked in. People saw the price rise, so they thought it would keep going up and put their money at stake. The same can be seen with the crypto run that recently happened. How to overcome recency bias? Yep, I'm sure you want to know how to overcome this bias, but let me tell you one thing. We cannot completely overcome it as it is hardwired in our brain to act on emotions. But here are some ways you can limit the effect of the bias. Number one, understand the markets. The markets move in cycles that will go up or down and may even move sideways. Any investing or trading decision you take, ensure that you do that only after you know what market cycle are you in. This will allow you to be much more objective and rational in your decision making approach. Number two, have clear financial goals. Whenever you are investing, have clear goals associated with each investment. It could be short term, medium term or even long term goals. Once you set your goals, you won't act emotionally or irrationally to tweak the investment and you will be disciplined with it. Number three, build a strong portfolio. A strong portfolio isn't one that only has great upside potential but has limited downside risk and decent upside potential. You need to create a portfolio that allows you to sleep peacefully at night or else you will be tweaking it all the time and you might just mess it up. Number four, hire a financial advisor. Some of us might not have the financial expertise to guide us through everything. That's why you should consider getting help from a financial advisor or an expert. It might save you time, effort, energy and money in the long run. Number five, have a positive attitude. Finally, you should have a positive attitude towards your investments if you know that you have made those investments after careful due diligence and research. Don't panic when the market fails or join the herd by selling everything. Instead, look at the bigger picture, think rationally and figure out why the prices are falling. This may help you spot a lucrative opportunity many are missing out on. So this was all about the concept of recency bias and we hope you learned a lot from this video. 
we regularly come up with such content on the stock markets and finance in general so make sure you have subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on our content also don't forget to like the video and we'll see you in the next one